Okay, year 11, I'm going to have a go. Someone's asked about questions nine and 10. Uh, so I'm gonna have a go at these two here. Sometimes it doesn't come up with the right numbering on my and letters on here. So I'm just gonna fix this up because I have that there. That's a C and that's 32 and that's D. Right. So the triangle ABC is isosceles with these two sides being equal. So that's 8.3 in there. If AB equals 8.3, yep, we know that. BAC equals 52. ADC equals 32. Find the length of AD. Now, whenever you get two triangles drawn within themselves, draw them separately. So I'm going to draw these two triangles separately. So I'll draw the small one and that's 8.3, that's 8.3, and that's 52. And I'll label it A, B, C. Now I'm going to draw the other one. And that's 32, and that's 8.3. And this is A, B, and D. And they want us to find AD. All right. Well, to find AD, I haven't got enough information. I need to find, so this is, I've got to find this side. I'm going to call it, no, I don't have to call it, it's AD. To use the sine rule, I need this angle. So I need this angle in here because they're the same angle. Now I'm lucky because I know this is an isosceles triangle. So this angle and this angle are equal. So angle A, B, C equals 180 minus 52. And I have to divide that by two because there are two of them. So I'll pull out my calculator, 180 minus 52, 128 divided by 2, 64. So that, 64 degrees, and that, 64 degrees, which means this is 64 degrees. So now I can use the sine rule to find AD. And I'm not going to use X, I'm just going to use AD. So, actually I will use X. Just makes it easier, saves me writing two things. So, X over sine 64. Oh, come on. Equals 8.3 over sine 32. So x equals <clears throat> 8.3 times sine 64 over sine 32. Calculator work now. 8.3 times sine 64 divided by sine 32. And I'm just going to make sure that's right. So I've got my answers on my other computer. And what are we doing? 14.1. Yep. So I'm going to write 14.077. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Dot, dot, dot. Which equals 14.1. Now B. What do I have to calculate? BD. So I have to calculate this distance. I'm just going to call it Y. Well, because I know these two angles, whenever you know two angles in a triangle, you know the third angle. And because I don't want to use this rounded version, and what units are we talking centimetres? Because I don't want to use a rounded version here, because that'll 
affect my answer. I'm going to find this angle here, which I know is going to be 180 minus 64 minus 32. 180 minus 64 minus 32. So that's 84. So that's 84 degrees. So I can just do y over sine 84, and that's going to equal 8. So it's got the same thing. So y over sine 84 equals 8.3 over sine 32. So y equals 8.3 times sine 84 over sine 32. So again to my calculator, 8.3 times sine 84 divided by sine 32. 15.57696, 15.57696, I think that was it. Yep, dot, 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 which equals 15.6 centimetres. Okay, if you use the 14.1 over sine 64 instead of that, you would have got a slightly different answer, but you would have been close. All right, so if you ever get that opportunity where you're going to use a rounded answer you will get some sort of rounded uh, error compound error uh, triangle abc is equilateral okay so i'm going to have to draw this one so i'm just going to create some space oh no i'll go down here so i'm just going to draw an equilateral triangle so this is question 10 and it's an equilateral triangle abc well, the beauty of an equilateral triangle is that all angles are 60. And what's the side length? 6.63 millimetres. A line is drawn from A to BC. So we'll just label it. And we'll start at the top. A, B, C. It doesn't matter how you label it you'll get the same result uh, from A to BC where it meets BC at D and DAB is 26 degrees okay so uh, I'm going to draw red and this angle it meets it at D, and this angle is 26 degrees, and how much? 15 minutes. By the way, I know this is 60, and this angle here is going to be 60 minus 26 degrees in 15 minutes uh, what will that be 60 minus 26 degrees in 15 minutes thirty three degrees 45 minutes so 33 degrees and 45 minutes I may not need that but I'm just putting it in there this is 6.3 over here, uh, 63, sorry. So, again, I suggest drawing these two triangles separately. I have to find AD and DC. And, oh, I know this angle because, it, no, well, I'll draw them separately. Do I need to use that side? AD, what do I need to find? AD and DC. I think I'm going to use the left-hand triangle. So I'm just going to draw the left-hand triangle. 
Because that's all I'm going to need. So that's A, and that's C, and that's D. And I know that's 60. And I now know that is 33 degrees and 45 minutes. 33 degrees and 45 minutes. So I can work out this angle, and I know this is 63. So I can work out this angle here. I'm just going to call it theta because oh no, yeah. So theta equals 180 because it's a triangle minus 60 minus 33 degrees and 45 minutes. So 180 minus 60 minus 33 degrees and 45 minutes. And that's 86 degrees and 15 minutes. 86 degrees and 15 minutes. Now, I have to find this distance, so I'm going to call it X, and I have to find CD, don't I? DC. Yeah. X and Y. So they're all going to be pretty easy now. So, sine. Oh, idiot. Always put your pronoun on top. X on sine 60 equals 63 on sine 86 degrees and 15 minutes. So X equals 63 times sine 60 over sine 86 degrees and 15 minutes. 63 times sine 60 divided by sine 86 degrees and 15 minutes. And 54.67667, whole lot of decimal points, and 54.7 uh, millimetres. So that's the first one. The second one, Y on sine, 33 degrees and 45 minutes. And I hope you can see that. So that's the opposite. And I'm going to use this angle and the 63. So I'm just using the same one. I'm not going to use that rounded version of X in it because that'll just give me a compounded error. So I've got 63 over sine... 86 degrees and 15 minutes. So y equals 63 times sine 33 degrees 45 minutes over sine 86 degrees and 15 minutes. And because I've still got that in my calculator, all I have to do is go back and change that 60 to 33 degrees and 45 minutes. And I get 35.076, 35, 35 or 34, 35.076 dot dot dot, which equals 35.1 millimeters, which is the correct answer. So there's 9 and 10, and some hints, I think, for you. Whenever you get triangles drawn inside, draw them separately. So in question 9, I drew the two triangles separately outside of each other, and the same thing happened here, and I only just took that one part of that triangle out of that. Anyway, I hope that helps.